guys, it's me, Steph. Um, I just got home from the shopping center. I did a little bit of, little, little bit of a grocery shop. Um, I got pizza for dinner tonight. I've said this before, I love frozen pizza in Ireland. I, it's just better and more like authentic slash takeaway, actually, as the box says, tasting than I've ever experienced in the States. And then I just got the basics, eggs. Um, some Brennan's bread. I usually do kind of usually get like a fresher sourdough laundry detergent. Bacon, Sorry, basically some stuff for breakfast. Fabric softener. I actually try not to use fabric softer, softener too much, like mainly kind of just for maybe bedding and once in a, once in a while. But I come across TikToks. I actually follow this one um, person and she, like her whole account's kind of like laundry and cleaning related, I think. And anyways, I've seen that actually using fabric softener is actually not so great for your clothes and your machine, I think. So I do try to be cautious, but I do use it sometimes. A Coke to go with a pizza. These waffles, sorry, everything's backwards. Let's just be like that. Five sugar wa waffles, Belgian waffles. Ooh, I don't know, that sounds good for the kids. Um, dish soap and then I'm excited to show you hold on I gotta go get my other thing that I've already purchased okay um so we did buy a Christmas tree and some Christmas ornaments and then maybe like one or two decorations really inexpensive small from Mr. Price but we never really bought much Christmas decorations because we were renting and we didn't have that much space for storage and all that jazz so this year, being in our own house for the first time in Ireland for Christmas, um, I want to, you know, I want to decorate at least a little bit more. And yeah, they start putting out the next season or holidays <laughs> decorations very soon, like well before Halloween even happened. And then also I was like, well, with the cost of everything and I don't really, um, buying everything at once would be one, one larger total. So, hey, I'll start picking up a thing or two when I'm out and I see something cute and then I'll have a nice little start by the time I actually go to decorate for Christmas. Without further ado, I got this cute, nice emerald green blanket from Penny's, just to throw, to set over our couch. I think I'm gonna also, they have cushion covers, like pillow covers, decorative that were only four euro each. Um, and you, I could just put them over the pillows that are already on our couch. Cause you know, they, they have removable covers too. So I might get those. And then today I got this cute little guy that just stands up. And then I also got a Christmas tree skirt and I really wanted a white fluffy one like this. So I'm gonna put away my cold stuff and then it'll be about time to get the kids. I basically finished up all of the content creation I was doing for my first project. In the meantime, since my last video, I got a second project and I finished that off because when I have like something on my plate, I just, I don't know. I can't, like, I really can't stop until it's done. Like, I probably, like, it would have been fine if I took a few days to do it, but I just kind of sat on my computer for hours and did it. <laughs> Gary was off yesterday, so he got the kids and stuff, and yeah. I'm happy with the way that things turned out. Um, I was doing, like, a Christmassy themed content, and I thought it was cute, so I like it. Anyways, okay. Yeah, that's all for now. Hey guys, it's Steph from the future. So what you're about to see in the vlog, I didn't talk. So you're going to see Molly explaining what we did for part of the day. And then we go out as a family again. We went to the shopping center and then we went out for a nice family dinner. Today was the funnest day ever. What did you do? It was my party. Your birthday party. A couple weeks early because we're going to the States. And it was at Claire's. Yep. And I had a lot of fun. We also got McDonald's and Krispy Kreme, and I got an Oreo donut. Okay, so. Hello 
everyone. It's Halloween for us here today. Um, Gary's off work and we are about to head into town just for something to do. There's this one shop called HMV that the girls like because it lays teddies and keychains and some of the, yeah, stuff. They're, they're really into teddies these days. Oh, so yeah. anyways, Molly has some birthday money, which her birthday's in two weeks. We had her birthday party on Sunday, just a few days ago, because I was a last minute planner. We're leaving, Shh. leaving for the States on Molly's actual birthday. So we knew we were gonna have to do our party like maybe a week early. And then because I was a procrastinator on booking, the only slot I could get was, yeah, two weeks before her birthday. So anyway, okay. This is my outfit of the day. Try not to get my toes. I got this cute sweater the other day. I'm like in the baggy wide leg jeans and sweater look and it feels very fall. I will take you into town with us a little bit, whether it's just a little montage or whatever. We might get a bite to eat in town. That is something we do from time to time. See you guys in the next clip. outing we did a little bit of shopping the girls got a couple things i got a couple things we had lunch at Bujum. i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's like chipotle and it's really nice because i love chipotle and i've even said in my video about fast food places i miss from the states i miss chipotle now there is the Bujum, but it's only in town so it's not something that somewhere that i can visit frequently but they do a pretty good job and if they ever put one near me that will totally fix my chipotle craving because it's basically the same thing and yeah i really enjoyed it i wish they did like a, a half serving size because like the burrito bowls can be quite big especially if you the more things that you get in them um yeah i couldn't even finish all mine and then i felt really full anyways i also got i was excited i got this it's like a texturizing hairspray and they i always used to get it at target in the states and then once I first moved here, I assume it, I assumed it wouldn't be here. It's the brand Kristen S. She's a celebrity hairstylist. I did end up end up finding out eventually that they do carry it at Boots. They just didn't carry it at the Boots that I frequently went to that was nearest to me. I went to a shopping center the other day, not the one that's near to me, the one that I found that hairspray there before. They were all out. It was all out online. And I went online and clicked find a store that has it near me. Anyways, I saw that it was in the Jervis shopping center in town. Luckily, as I was walking along the street, I was like, oh my God, I better check that. They had it. It was on sale regularly, 16 euro for 10 something. So that's good. And they had two cans. So I picked that up. And that was an exciting find for me because that's like a holy grail product. I've been using it for years. I use it nearly every day. And I got myself a sweater, another striped sweater, not this one, another one. Yeah, so it's Halloween. I said that earlier, I'm pretty sure. So probably in a couple hours, it'll be time to go trick-or-treating. We'll also make some dinner. There's these really good, well, Don's has these uh, like, I don't know, pre-marinated pre or pre-prepared meats that you basically just pop the tray in the, in, in the oven and cook. And I tried these ones that were meatball, they're meatballs. It's like, and it's like with a kind of a barbecue sauce. I'm usually not like a huge barbecue sauce fan. Not that I don't like it, but. I don't go out of my way to choose it. Anyways, they're really good. I think we're gonna choose that or cook that. I am gonna continue reading a little more. I've just been reading for about 20 minutes. Um, I'm on page 88-ish of my book, When the Body Says No, The Hidden Cause of Stress by Gabor Mate. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I spent so much time reading it yesterday and it's just one where sometimes I'll have to go back and reread a paragraph or a page or slow down or really kind of concentrate to like really digest it. It's not like a more so usually easier to read fiction book. It's, you know, the stuff it's teaching me and when it starts talking about like I don't know, the immune system and neural pathways and how the hypothalamus connects and sends out hormones and all that jazz. Yeah, it gets a little bit more difficult to, to digest, but it's good. It's 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 great. It's informative, but you know, 
just have to make sure that I'm really taking it all in or doing my best. I'm really liking it. Yeah, it's not it's not all like that, but <laughs> I gotta say this one word. Psychoneuroimmunoendocrinology. The name of the discipline that studies the interrelated functions of the organs and glands that regulate our behavior and physiological response. Anyways, the basic premise, as the title would suggest, is the hidden cause of stress. Like what happens when we repress our emotions and what kind of effects might that have on our bodies? Or at least the potential effects. Okay, so I'm going to go and read some more of that. Then I'm gonna cook dinner, or maybe Gary will. And then I think one of us, I think Gary, was gonna go with the girls around for trick or treating. And I really wanna give out the candy. I'm excited because I think this year living here will have the best kind of turnout for trick or treaters. That's that. Okay, you saw this stuff earlier in the video, but now it's kind of real time in the vlog, or more in sequential order. Um, it's a Friday. Gary has the day off. Gary's mom's in town from Italy. She is coming over for a visit. I think the main purpose of her coming at, in this period of time is her bestie's birthday. There's a big bash tomorrow for her best friend's birthday. So she's doing that. But yeah, she's staying with us for a few days and she's like gonna stay with some friends and stuff too. I don't know the exact plans, but anyways, Gary and I are gonna go out for dinner and kind of just, you know, kind of go out for the night um, while, while she's here here just this you know just for tonight just to take opportunity of her being able to spend time with kiva and molly that's what we're gonna do i'm editing this video right now that's why you saw earlier in the vlog a clip of me like this and this outfit and this day <laughs> pop in to kind of explain what I didn't get a chance to explain on that day. So I'm going to do some more editing, then I'll shower and get ready and stuff. My mother-in-law is going to her friend's house with the girls. She's out shopping now. She rented a car because I think she's here for close to two weeks, maybe at least 10 days. Um, We're going to the States on the 15th. Today is the third. You will probably not see this till like the fourth or the fifth. I'm not sure, maybe you'll see it today, but probably not. Cause I'll probably get a little bit of, you know, where we go and what we do tonight. Just a few clips to put in the vlog, to jazz it up. So anyways, that's about it for now. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, maybe I'll, sh I'll show a little bit what we do, what we eat and stuff later in the day. And what we drink. Okay. Woo Maybe we'll have a couple drinks. What do you have to say for yourself? Hi guys, it's me. This no. is a gluten-free boy over here. He has been gluten-free basically with a few tiny sheets. He's feeling camera shy. He's just making a waffle sandwich, a potato waffle sandwich. So no gluten and the potato waffle and ham and cheese. And that's about it. And I'm gonna have some lunch too. So anyways, you, I'll see you guys in the next section of this video. Bye. Hey guys, I'm here with my beautiful assistant, Molly. She is doing some coloring. She made a beautiful picture. And I, I wanted to pop back on because I realized I never said about what happened on Halloween. It was really bad. It was really bad. Long story short, like I said earlier in the vlog, I did stay and pass out candy while Gary went out with the girls to go trick or treating. I was running out of candy fast. They walked in the door to empty their buckets because they got full and then I decided to go out with them. So we were all four out. We walked like a couple streets over essentially and there was people, multiple different areas near enough to us setting off fireworks. And the girls were a little bit nervous and we tried, we tried to reassure them that like, they're safe with us and stuff. So the girls went to a few houses. Then they were in the doorway of a house and Gary and I were like essentially kind of like at the end of the driveway, maybe like 15 or 20 feet away, like not far. And when they were up ringing the doorbell and trick or treating. And there was people near enough lighting off fireworks. Gary said he saw what happened. So the firework like was in the ground, you light it off and it pops up into the air. Well, I guess it fell over and shot the wrong way and like bounced off of a wall or a car or whatever. And it came within inches of hitting them. So the way that the fireworks shot, it like landed in between myself and Gary and the girls and they were in the doorway. So all they could do is just back up into the door of those people's house, not like inside, but just as far as they could. And I've never seen that look of horror and the screams like I saw on them, which obviously anyone wouldn't like to see as a child, like or see a child experience, especially as they're 
parent. So yeah, they were petrified and rightfully so. I mean, it was like a firework that like went off in the air. It's not like, like a little sparkler flew off and hurt their wrist. I, like, I was really, 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 really angry. And I felt like I almost died. <laughs> We went in after that because they were so upset. Like, I don't know, I feel like it sounds like I'm being dramatic, but like literally like a firework that went in the air like shot right at them. It was like inches away from hitting them. So that's what happened. And our Halloween wasn't so good. Earlier in the day was a really good day. It was a really good week. It was a really good week overall. That was, that was rough. I was mad. Yeah, I was sad. And she was sad. And I was mad. And I was mad. And, and was so sad. was dad. Kiva was really upset too. Yeah, Molly was extra upset, rightfully so. Like, I was crying for 55 minutes. <laughs> she slept with us that night, so. Anyways, I have the best girls in the whole entire world. They did, you know, they did enjoy their first little part of trick-or-treating, so. Molly and I discussed how next year, since she felt so upset by what happened this year, she was still feeling similarly, she can still celebrate Halloween without trick-or-treating under the fireworks. And she can dress up and she can help mom do the candy because I'm You're not going to go out once. No, I don't go outside when they give up candy. Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to start getting ready soon for, for my evening out. Hmm? Okay. That's all. It's a Saturday morning. I went and did a nice grocery shop and I had some lunch. Now I'm about to finish up editing this video and I'm gonna close out this vlog here. We're gonna just chill out, I think, for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow, Kiva has a birthday party and we are going to Gary's sister sister's house, Um, just some, some of the family, just to meet up and mainly because Gary's mom's in town too. So um, a nice reason to get us all together. So. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.